Welcome Pisces Aries to your end of the month reading for May. I hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay guys, let's see what's going on with you and your end of the month reading over here after this beautiful lunar eclipse going straight into Mercury retrograde on the 22nd. Um, okay, I believe it's the 22nd. Uh, you can also Google that, make sure that I'm right. Sometimes I look at them wrong. <laughs> But I do believe it's the 22nd. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Best message, please. For the end of the month. Got the Queen of Roses coming out. Wow. This can indicate a deepening of a love that you already have. Deepening of a re love relationship you already have. Or a new re love relationship coming in. So, let's look and see what's going on here. Clarifying on the Queen of Roses, please, for the end of the month. Right there. A time of renewal. Time of renewal, rebirth, um, something new, something fresh. So if you're already in a relationship, it could be this renewal of a deepening of a relationship. Um, it's feeling like it's a fresh start or it's just literally um, kind of changing into this, this new depth right? Um, or it's the new, fresh beginning of a new love, okay? This is saying staying on track. There's something going on track over here. That's crazy. You have the divine physician. Some of you might actually be dating someone in the medical field. Um, wow. This is talking about a healthy relationship, something that brings in harmony, peace, love, um, a deeper connection. Um, so no matter what, if you have this new love coming in, you could feel very uh, deeply connected to them. Um, yeah. Definitely be meeting them through the community. There's a lot of community activity going on. You guys could be dating, um, going out a little bit more, things of this nature. Um, did you meet them in the community? Um, seeing how that works. King of Keys, this person. This person is very dedicated to their work, that's for sure. So if they work within your community, you could see them maybe even as a community leader. If they're the leading doctor or dentist within the community, because um, of the divine physician, doesn't have to be. Take what resonates, what doesn't, just throw away. Um, they're just examples of what I'm hearing. Um, it could be definitely somebody, though, that might even be big in the community. They could be the mayor. They could be a community worker. Um, you see what I'm saying? But they're very dedicated and hardworking um, towards all goals that they are um, set their eyes on. So this is a very good thing because, you know, if you, you could say it's already your husband, your wife, or something of this nature. It's just showing that they like success and that they're very successful at what they do. Um, and they will also want to make the success within the relationship as well. It's kind of like one of those things, like, they're very successful in the community and at their job, but they take things very seriously, right? They're analytical thinkers. They like to take things seriously, so they're taking the relationship super serious. Um, with the wing messages, and we'll see what that is, and the queen of keys upside down. <clears throat> so, oh, with the wing messages over here, it could be that they, it just feels like they don't ever get their messages out fast enough, but they do take it very super serious, okay? It's one of those things where it's like, you promised me that you were going to do this, but then, you know, they can't always stand by their promises because they're very loyal to their job. So you could even say that maybe with the queen of keys upside down, the only problem that you feel is that maybe they're married to their job. Okay, I, I'm really feeling that. Um, and maybe this is one of the reasons you guys are trying to deepen the relationship that maybe you already have as well. Because you could say, I don't know, you know, um, it's I'm so glad finally they're going to come back to me and take this more serious or whatever because they're married to their work. It does feel like somebody who's married to their work um, and they don't always stand by their promises. So it feels like at the end of the month, they're actually going to, there's where the fresh new start is. They're actually going to stand by their promises. If you guys been dating for a while, um, you know, same thing. If this is a fresh new love coming in, just be aware that they are probably married to their job. <laughs> you know what I mean? But right now they're taking everything super serious. Okay. So clarifying on the birth and the on track. 
So I think in the past I actually gave you the Ten of Swords. If you know that this is an ongoing relationship, you know that they have broken promises. You can definitely feel like you don't have to um, feel like you have the pain and the suffering within the situation anymore. If you're getting out of a really bad relationship and this new person's coming in, you could still feel a little um, rough around the edge edges. So it's going to be maybe a little harder to trust this new love coming in because maybe you already um, were hurt when it comes to loyalty. Um, and that's one of the, the issues. Um, so um, just remember whatever is going on over here to loosen up a little bit so that you can allow the track to, to do what it's supposed to do. Okay, this is kind of a divine track over here because it's definitely next to the divine physician. So it's saying this is divinely done. This is something that you're supposed to be doing. So you really want to stay on track with this. Um, they are definitely on track at trying to get you, um, you know, to um, date them, do whatever it is, or them trying to stay on track. If, if you're already married and they're, um, you know, they're married to their work or however it is, they're trying their hardest to get on the train because um, they really want to, you know, really come to you and deepen this relationship. They've been patiently planning this situation for a long time, planting seeds. Um, if it's a new love to get to you, um, just take it how it is. Okay. So I don't have to say the same thing a thousand times, right? It's either one, the other, um, or the other. Um, but they've definitely been, you know, planting the fruits over here and really trying to, it feels like they're trying to divide time in, in its own way. Um, trying to really, you know, making sure that you understand that they do love and adore you and that they do see your, um, your worthiness, right? Anytime you're the nine of pentacles, they see your worth. They see that you're, you know, you're more than meets the eye. Okay. So they definitely want this divine connection with you as they're progressing towards you. So they're definitely opening up a little bit more in a lot of ways or really, really coming towards you um, in a way that maybe they've never come towards someone else before because um, they're definitely patiently planning each step that they're making. Um, wow. With the high priestess upside down, you might not even notice that, you know, that they're really even coming towards you because you're kind of looking somewhere else. So your intuition might be not as sparking as it was because you still kind of have the Ten of Swords. Maybe this, like I said, maybe it's this loyalty um, piece that's going on. Maybe for some of you, it's even a little bit of vulnerability um, due to old relationships. Um, but you're kind of spending a lot of time inside your head instead of, you know, in your analytical mind instead of your intuition, um, you know, about the situation. Um, this is because a lot of you already... You know, like I said, it's, it's almost like you can't imagine, you know, what's going on. So you're kind of still looking at the three of cups upside down um, saying, yeah, well, there, we've had these issues. But even though they're trying to come towards you, um, you just the clarity within yourself is not seeing the messages that they're trying to send out at this time as they're really trying over here with the king of keys over here. It's like, yes, they're very ambitious. They really like their job. They really want to get done what they need to get done. But they really are trying to offer you this, you know, reconciliation or this time out. Um, or they really want to take you out and show you what love really is. Wow. Because I see that. Because here comes the victory. They really want to conquer this with you. They really want this date. They really want to fix this um, or have this opportunity. Right. With the wing messages over here, it's almost like they just can't get messages out fast enough. You're going to find this at the end of the month where it's like, okay, fine. So you're messaging me but you're not messaging me back with the hell, right? It's going to get a little confusing, okay? And you're really trying to find the balance and how is this all justifying itself? If this person really wants to be with me, how is this justifying itself? And that's just because they're still doing what they're doing um, because they are married to their work or however it is, um, you know? But they're really trying to, it feels like they're trying to balance out this situation. I do see the balance. They're trying their hardest. I just think they get too in their head as well about certain situations, especially when it comes to work, they get too carried away. Um, and it takes some time for them to want to write back, but they definitely are manifesting and trying to come at you. You will see them trying to come at you and taking more action. Um, by the time the end of the month comes around, um, for sure. Absolutely. And why? Because they are definitely going to come in hot and passionate by the time the end of the month does come through. So you definitely are going to see this really starting to pick up the pace and it's going to be kind of weird because it's going to feel like, well, I text you 
and it took you a day and a half or for some of you right to write me back but then all of a sudden it's almost like they have this kind of wake up call um, to where they see the truth of what they're doing could be definitely dealing with some kind of fire sign um, and then they're going to kind of like wake up and say oh you know what I need to take better action on this situation because everything I've been patiently planning and trying to do um, is kind of falling apart right and this is because they're always trying to um, you know be the best at work or they're married at work or however this is uh, maybe they have a big project or however it is I'm more worried about something else that's for sure okay <clears throat> And, but they definitely see that that's going to do that. And they're going to really cut through all the other circumstances and really try to get back to the high road over here. Now that's staying on that track again, where they really are patiently planning on getting on track with the situation within themselves. Um, they might have a little bit of obsession, even with the nine of pentacles as well. Cause I could be talking about how they, they see you with worth, but that can also be their obsession of how they work or whatever else really keeps on their head. Because it does feel like now they're going to cut through everything else that they've been, you know, dedicating their overtime with so that they can come and show you the passion. Because they definitely do see the goal with you and they really do want a healthy connection with you, um, you know, and they really do want to show you the strength and courage that they have. Um, so they're definitely with the, the queen of keys upside down is saying, I'm not going to put the action in to being a workaholic at this time because I really want to show you the love that I really have and I don't want you to feel like you know I'm ignoring you uh -huh. oh boy right they don't want to give you the disappointments they don't want to be the your disappointment right so they're definitely taking on a new role making new leaps and new face to try to show you um you know who they want to be and what is really going on for a lot of you it could be an ex from the past or it could be somebody from now or they're nostalgic about having something that they've always longed for and that they're really working towards right and so they're going to put all their challenges aside they need to put their challenges aside right they need to take this other piece and say well if you want me you need to stop ignoring me because that's what it feels like right so they're definitely going to get themselves out of that challenge mode and really start taking some better action towards you because that's really what this is about. How are you going to tell me that you want to be my new love or renew a love if you keep putting me on the side burner, putting me second, putting me last? So yeah, so they're definitely going to be escaping the situation that they've continued to keep doing, which a lot of them is work. The over consistency of work, though, it feels more obsessive, right? I'm married to my work. So now they definitely want to come in and offer some cups to you and say, okay, I'm going to go ahead, keep my promises. There it is. Keep those promises. Keep what I, you know, what I've been trying to do. Now, mind you guys, these promises might be to you, but most of these promises I want you to know are to themselves from the beginning. Remember, because I wanted to stay on track. I wanted to show you who I am. I want to show you how much you mean to me. And I made all this patience and planning, but I didn't even, I couldn't even keep the promise to myself. So a lot of this promise is to themselves. They have to make the promise to themselves before they can keep it to somebody else, right? So that's what they're doing. They're saying, okay, because they want the blessings. And then here comes the sun and here comes the blessings. They're finally going to show you. I wouldn't doubt if you're not watching the red flags. I definitely wouldn't, right? But it's like there's, they're communicating and learning as they're going. We pray that this isn't just going to be a, ret a Mercury retrograde. I'm going to bring that up. We're going to pray that this isn't just, you know, because Mercury retrogrades are definitely learning systems from karmic deeds. So praying that if this is something that they're used to doing or they always get caught up in this, that they actually learn from this Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde does karmics, bad karmics, right? or brings in good karmics, however you want to see it. Some people get really good luck during Mercury retrogrades. Some people get really bad luck, depending on what the karmic is. This one, to me, is a learning lesson. Now, let's just pray that they actually learn through this, because they could be doing this through, if it's a new love, this could be a bad habit for them, because they're so married to something else. Um, so hopefully they will learn from this lesson so they don't have to redo this lesson over and over and over. If you guys are married or in a community, 
you know, a commitment, uh, maybe it's something they'll finally learn so they don't continue to keep doing this to you. And then you have to wait till every Mercury retrograde to say, fine, okay, every time this comes around, here we go again. You want to show me love, but then after the re retrograde is over, you return back to who you are again. That means the lesson was never learned. They never broke that, right? So let's just pray that they actually learn from that experience. only pray because this does feel like this is a uh, something they've done in other relationships where they need to learn not to do this or you as a couple go through this a lot and it could be every mercury retrograde you're like my gosh the only time our relationship really does good is during you know <clears throat> you know the uh, gemini Merc season you know, the Scorpio, Libra, whichever one it is, you know, Mercury season, the February retrograde, Mercury retrograde. So, you know, Mercury retrograde is three times a year, and you're like, that's the only time that they ever really want to show me what I'm worth. So I'm just praying it really works out, guys. I'm just going to keep praying for you. Distinguish the importance of your inner spiritual work or outer ex, uh, success, maybe bringing it up to them. Hey, you know, are we going to learn from this lesson? <coughs> Excuse me. You know, are you going to actually, you know, learn from this? For them, I feel like this is theirs because this is, says master the step you are on. So whoever this is for, and remember, cross watcher, this could be them. Um, but however, I would say that the person, whoever we're talking about, um, is definitely mastering the step that they are on. And I would bring that up. I, you know, I, I'm sorry, I would. I would be like, you know, and the only time you seem to really want to bring this up, and I'm not saying bring up fights, right? I, mean, I know some of you are like, that'll bring a fight in. Um, I, look, if you know it's going to start a fight, then don't do it. You know, just pray upon the situation. Just keep manifesting upon the situation, right? Um, but if you know that you can actually talk to your partner about the situation, I would do it during this time when they're super loving, right? When they're super in this area where they know your self-worth and they know that they really want to be here. I, that's when I would always do it. You know, that way you can kind of drop the little ball real lovingly and be like, you realize that every time that this happens is only during this time? We need to really master these steps and really work towards, you know, doing this a lot. I do feel like for some of you, there. There could be an excuse that comes towards this. I don't know why. Develop flexibility and aim to be in harmony with all environments. I don't know. It just feels like sometimes they might even have some kind of excuse. Well, you know this time of the year I'm not that busy. So it's easier. Um, that's just an excuse. That's not, that's not really learning, though, is it? That's learning excuses. <clears throat> okay. But otherwise, it looks really good. I, I love the reading. I'm just praying that they actually learn something from it because it does feel like it's it's more of a, of a this happens this time of the year. Um, um, and, uh, for, you know, and those of you who are in a new relationship, maybe you can actually fix this scenario to keep the, this alive um, because they look like a very endearful person. I, I see a lot of love over here and a really good person. I just think they're really married to their work or they focus too much on, on a hobby or something else. Something is always in their way. Hmm. Okay, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.